You can get all the help in the world, but in the end, it's your responsibility. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another fitness update video. Today I am in my new favorite bikini and I have to check my titties every five seconds. To be honest, I'm just gonna do the intro to this. I'm gonna give you a little turnaround of my body and then I'm gonna put on a shirt for comfort so I can actually relax and not worry about my titties just flopping out. Right now I'm like, stiff Tara, gotta have not titties flopping out. But I wanted to show you guys in a bikini because I know you guys want that a lot and there will be a lot of that this summer, especially if I continue to crush goals like I am. And to be honest, I'm not actually crushing goals. I'm kind of hitting a plateau right now. So I wanted to update you on the progress that I've made since I last updated you. And I also wanted to hold myself accountable because for me, it works when you guys either encourage me or call me a fat ass because I know in my heart of hearts, I still have way too much fat on my frame. But there's that little bit of dopamine that is like hitting my brain right now where I'm like, wow, I can actually pull off a bikini kind of as long as I stay in this one flexed position with proper lighting and add a little bit of water you know, to not look so fat. But anyway, if you want more of this bikini shit, you can always support me on Patreon or OnlyFans. I do BTS on OnlyFans and the HD photo sets and videos on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or just type in slash Tara Babcock on both of those two platforms. So I am finally semi comfortable in a bikini. And what I mean by comfortable, I don't want you guys to worry about my mental state ever. I see this kind of thing titty check. I see this kind of thing as more of self-improvement and what I personally want to look like to myself. Nothing about societal standards. I didn't like super, super rail thin back in the day. And now I don't like big, huge fake booties and like lipoed stomachs and a crazy ass hourglass. I do like an hourglass, but it's more of like a healthy, natural fit hourglass as much as I possibly can. And with being a happy, healthy, mentally sound person, because everyone is to some extent influenced by their upbringing or their surroundings. It's not nature versus nurture, it's nature and nurture. And in my opinion, the only thing that matters is that I am working toward goals, bettering myself and making myself happy and also staying healthy. Those are my two goals. And right now I feel like I wanna feature myself in a bikini in my content quite a bit more than I did before because it matches more my aesthetic. This is more what I'm going for. And that's why I think I'm struggling so much with sticking to it and not just maintaining. I've been maintaining for about two weeks. I am now at 160 pounds. I started at 185 pounds pounds, which is way too much for someone who's 5'4". Now you might think, oh, I'm a six foot girl. I weigh that much. That's fine. Or I have a ton of muscle. I do have a good amount of muscle. And that's why I think that 160 on me now looks like it's kind of 140-ish, 135-ish because I retain so much fat on my legs, on my ass. And because I also have a lot of muscle. Guys, it has nothing to do with boobs. My boobs weigh like three pounds total or three pounds each or something even less than that. Silicone is actually quite light. It's even lighter than saline. The more you know. But anyway, I just, I, f I feel great. I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm like, I can actually pull this off in certain angles. So let's go ahead and give you a spin around. I don't think you guys understand when you say that I look good. Yes, I do carry fat extremely well. In fact, I could almost sometimes pull off sexy in my eyes at 185 still at 5'4", which is crazy. It's actually on the scale of obesity. Obviously I know that muscle mass and all of that stuff doesn't factor into it. But when I factor my own muscle mass into it, it only pulls me down to like severely overweight. So I was severely overweight. So I think something you guys don't know about me is that my frame is tiny. It's like Madison Ivy tiny. Like I have the tiniest fucking wrists. You can like double over twice my wrists. And when you actually grab this fat, there is so much. And I'm not saying that if someone's happy at this size or if someone has some kind of PTSD or eating disorder or something that they should have the same goals as me. I think that goes without saying. I watch so many fitness update videos from girls where they're just harping on the fact that like, this is what I want. You don't have to be like me and it's like fucking duh. If you're not at that point right now, you should really be at a psychiatrist, no offense, because you have to not be looking at other people's stuff and then thinking like, wow, I have to be exactly like this person or, or wow, this person's getting a lot of attention. I wanna get that much attention. I'm not doing this for anyone else but myself. And if you're not at that stage yet, don't watch these videos. They're gonna be toxic to you. You have to worry about your own mental health because no one's gonna worry about it more than you will. You can get all the help in the world, but in the end, it's your responsibility. So back to what I was saying. For me, it's very uncomfortable to have a lot of like blah, 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 fat on me. And I don't 
have the best skin so I have to worry about also not getting so fat that I might have some loose skin later on and that's something I'm always worried about because it's uncomfortable and it's awful and I don't want to have a bunch of scars so let me illustrate really like I look a lot better but if you look at my arms like all of that is fat I am capable of having like no arms and then here like you could cut off like this much of my stomach and this much of my back and when I was low body fat I had the tiniest waist from the side so while it looks like I'm kind of normal ish especially when you don't see me in person I am still objectively carrying a lot of fat on my body and that to me personally is not something I want to be doing I want to replace a lot of that fat with lean muscle mass but not too much so that I can't get that like tiny svelte side profile and other than that I just want to get the body where I go like that is my aesthetic and then post a bunch of bikini videos of me like washing my Jeep in a bikini and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and put on a shirt real quick. Sorry guys. Oh, I didn't show you my butt much. So as you can see, like my back still has this back fat here, a lot of it actually, but when it transitions to my butt now, there's a lot less here so that you can actually see how round my butt actually is. I'm worried a little bit. And to remind you guys again, this is not an insecurity thing. This is like a me chiseling my body to my ideals and what I want and I'm not sad while well, I'm not there. I love my body at every stage, no matter what, no matter when I look like this or whatever, or when I look, oh my God, like this. You should always love your body. Loving yourself shouldn't be about how many dicks you get hard or how aesthetically pleasing you think you are. It should be about you always being on the road to bettering yourself. Even if it's small, tiny, incremental steps, it's just that you spent your entire life caring about your health, caring to improve yourself in your vision of who you wanna be. And that you do what you want with your life. And if hanging out in a bikini for the internet to see isn't something you wanna do, don't do it. Anyway, so yeah, you can see that it's more of a slope, but something I am thinking I might need to do is a little bit more ass type workouts because right here seems to be getting a little bit flatter. So I have, as my friends always used to say, in high school and middle school, I have a bubble butt, but it's like a bubble at the bottom. And I have to work pretty hard to keep that upper pole fullness in my ass. So right now that's the only like loss I'm seeing in the good parts of my figure by losing weight. I know a lot of you guys are worried about don't lose your titty in fact, something I love about losing weight is that my titties actually start looking much more stuck on, which is my aesthetic. This tit, for some reason, holds a lot more body fat. In fact, they actually had to take out some breast tissue when they did my last implantation because it has so much more that it kind of hangs a little bit more naturally than the other one. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my top on so I can relax. Oh my god. And by relax, I don't mean the stomach. In fact, I'll like roll this up so you can still see my stomach. I just want to not feel like my nipples popping out and I'm getting banned on YouTube forever. That should be good. Also, it's getting a little dark. I thought I could film three videos out here today and I absolutely could not. So, since my birthday, I have been basically losing like one pound every like three weeks or something. And then in the last month, I've been maintaining. I've been allowing myself to have a lot more pizza when I shouldn't. I haven't been going on the really Really, really extenuating hikes that I've been going on, which allow me to have that kind of pizza intake for myself. Because I've been busy doing other things, like I cleaned the garage instead of going on hikes, and then I also had to do a lot of dumb busy work on those days. Like for instance, I had to go see my CPA to file my taxes. So after that, instead of, hey ducky, woo. So after that, instead of actually going on a long hike, I decided to go to the park and hang out with peacocks. You guys might've seen that on my Instagram. Very fucking cool experience. There's peacocks all over this place. And there was a place where I took some pictures of me looking like a country girl, which I love. Pictures, by the way, have been so much more fun to take because I have so many more options aesthetically. Options where I actually wanna put them on my feed. The way I see my Instagram feed and the way I see the fun in modeling is by posting a curated list of things that just look like they represent what I want to represent, that they are fun to create, they are fun to edit, they are fun to change all of the lighting and mess with the colors so that I get like this perfect thing. And my thing right now is actually doing all of my edits on Lightroom rather than ever using someone else's presets or ever using one of those apps that applies a filter or using Instagram filters. I love messing with the lighting and trying to get a more aesthetic, more professional photography outcome from my own pictures with all of my own work. I love that. I'm 
having so much fun with it. I'm geeking out about new camera settings and new things that I can do with Lightroom. It's so much fun. I'm having so much fun because of this. And I'm also so much more able-bodied. There were a few times where I had to like run, not because I was afraid or anything, but like, let's say at the gym, I'm doing the track or something. There's like an indoor track at my gym. And sometimes I would have to like run past a bunch of slow people and then stop. And usually that would start to get my heart rate up. I wouldn't be like dying or sweating or anything because I was always in at least that good of a shape physically. But now I don't feel it at all. I can run for a pretty long time at like a decent speed and it's like I'm walking. It's pretty crazy. Like I feel so much better on my Fitbit. It's telling me that my heart rate is average to good rather than bad to average for my age. I'm just having a really good time. And you know, the older I get, the more it's like fun kind of. It's like a game to maintain my looks while also balancing aging gracefully. And none of that involves me actually acting my age. Like I want to be someone who's on the top of a mountain and then at home playing video games every night. Ooh, birdie. Ooh, another birdie. You guys might have actually seen that one fly. Birdies are so cool. I want to be one of those people who's physically active until I literally cannot anymore until it's physically impossible. And me getting fit at this point and staying fit at this point and being more able-bodied and looking better are all working toward that goal. So I'm fired up. You know what? No more of this maintaining. We're gonna lose the last like 20 to 30 pounds that I wanna lose. Maybe it's not even that, I don't know. Like I say I wanna lose, at the beginning I was like, oh, I need to lose like 100 pounds, you know? But now it's like whatever feels good. And I have no idea what's gonna feel good with the amount of muscle mass that I have on my body right now. When I was 18, I had very little muscle mass. I was pretty flat and I was happy at between, I would say 108 and 115. So now I'm assuming I'll probably be happy with a bunch more muscle mass at like, I would say 135 probably. 135 is probably my tentative goal, but it could change. It could be 150. I don't know. I doubt it'll be 150 to be honest, but I'm so much happier even when I scrunch over like this. I remember, oh my God, let me tell you a story. I remember I was peeing one day when I was like 180 or something. And I was like sitting like this, just peeing, you know, like imagine me on the toilet peeing because I know that's your fetish, but I like reached down and like touched my stomach. Oh my God, the amount of fat here was so crazy big. It shocked me. I was like, how did I let this happen? I've always been a person who gains on the bottom half of my body and not on the top half. How? These birds are so distracting. I'm like, how did I let my body get to this place? And it felt so uncomfortable. And the reason I felt it was because I had my leg up and the fat was actually touching my leg. And it was like a really, just one of those like one out of 10 that I've had in my life wake up moments where it's like, I need to change something. I've been complacent because I don't feel sad about myself. And honestly, I really feel like if bullying worked on me or if people telling me I'm gaining weight or like my mom being concerned about my weight or like any of that stuff actually like made me feel bad I would have been more inclined to get on the bandwagon quicker but at the same time I wouldn't have stuck to it because it wouldn't have been of my own fruition it would have been social pressures and stuff like that but because I love myself at every stage and I always forget how good it feels to be healthy and how hot I feel and how much more I want to do the things that I love and how much easier it is to do everything that I love I always forget that and I still feel sexy at every size and I still feel beautiful in myself at every size to an extent it takes me a lot longer to get back into that but it's a more sustainable thing because it's myself holding myself accountable and that's why I feel like with addiction I had food addiction you guys can watch my other videos I'll actually link all of my fitness videos and my journey down in the description but I went from being like a rail thin model with big fake boobs and barely any muscle to being like increasingly and increasingly and increasingly fatter and it had nothing to do with me not working out it was just that I was allowing myself to get a bigger and bigger stomach that could fit more and more food and then I was addicted to like cheesy stuff and like sweet and like every single one of my holidays and my birthdays everything was about just like eating as much food as I could because that was what I did when I was happy like I'm happy I accomplished something eat food that was always my reinforcement and I think it was probably instilled within me when I was younger by my parents who always let me have bad food always made a bunch of good food and always took us out for food they weren't as bad as some parents let me tell you I see some parents that are taking their kids to McDonald's every single morning for breakfast it wasn't like that my mom had Sundays to make us like a full-fledged breakfast with eggs and pancakes and toast and it was amazing and we had like sit-down family meals sometimes my parents would cook every night but I got to the point where since I was becoming more and more vegetarian and I just don't like meat in general they would make fully meat-based like barbecue stuff like weekly and it got to the point where the only thing I would eat is their tacos and then the tacos that I would eat were literally quesadillas and my dad makes the best fucking quesadillas oh my god and then my mom turned me on to pop-tarts with peanut butter on top of them, the chocolate popped. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> 
So it was hard to not reward myself when I was happy. I was never like a sad eater. But anyway, I am done rambling. I have a newfound sense of accomplishment. I'm getting my body back and also making it better than it was. It's not gonna be like an emaciated body, but I'm also not going to pretend that like, oh, I was unhealthy. Cause I really wasn't. I felt good <laughs> at 110 pounds. I was doing long distance running, like marathon type running, which didn't look as good as if I put on some muscle, but I never was starving myself. I never had a uh, eating disorder where I wasn't eating enough or I was eating really badly in, in terms of like nutrients and stuff and micronutrients. I was never like malnourished. It was always the opposite. I was always lingering on eating way too much and having to work out a ridiculous amount to compensate for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying coming along with me on this journey. I'm having a lot of fun and I'm very happy that I finally found ways that I can stick to it. I'm a little bit worried as the dopamine pops in my brain for me looking better that I'll become complacent or that I won't be able to get my heart rate up enough and burn enough calories on hikes in order to eat as much as I want to. But I do feel like my stomach is slowly getting smaller and smaller for the amount and the portion size that makes me feel that full. In the long run, it feels like I really need to let go of the desire, the overwhelming addiction desire to feel that full when I have a good cheat meal and to not accidentally let my cheat meals undo all of the hard work that I made in that week. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Video. Woo! Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Don't worry about fat shaming me or don't worry about telling me that I look great, don't lose any more weight because none of that's gonna affect me. I know what I want and I'm getting it no matter what. And if I don't get it, that's on me and absolutely no one else. I hope you are personally working toward whatever goals you have and don't let anyone else deter you either. But also introspect and make sure you're doing it in a healthy manner. I don't know, I'm a little bit of a hedonist. If you are only gonna be happy by doing something that destroys your body, go for it. If you wanna be like a competitive eater, not a competitive eater, a lot of them are Asian and tiny, but like one of those fat fetishists or like have a feeding fetish. And that's all that makes you happy. And you don't mind that you're not gonna live as long and you don't mind that you're not gonna be as healthy or as capable. Dude, whatever, fuck it. You know, like be happy, be you. Don't even let me tell you anything. And it's getting dark, so I gotta film some fan service Friday. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you can relate to any of this. Let me know if any of it's helped you or dishelped you. I apologize. I saw a comment on my lingerie video where, oh my eye. On my lingerie video where some girl was saying this made her hate her body and I'm like Jesus fuck dude Like I still feel bad even though I know logically like there's nothing I can do Like I'm gonna show off my body and I'm gonna be me and like she can't go around Emulating every single person and hating herself for every single other type of person there is on the internet That just doesn't make any sense I still feel bad because I never want to make any woman feel like she has to look like me or that she's less Even to me personally I have my own preferences, but they only apply to me You know like the only time I get sad is when I see my my friends who clearly want to lose weight, not losing weight and making excuses, but that's like a thing I can tell because I know them well. If you are truly happy in your thick ass, or if you are truly happy in your feeding fetish, or if you are truly happy being super skinny, and you know what's best for you, like, fuck it. You do you. I'm too much of a libertarian to tell you what to think or do, but that means that I'm also gonna not let anyone tell me what to do. I love you guys. Bye. My ass is so red from sitting on this concrete. Owie! Bye.